here with head men's and women's cross country coach Steve Thiessen. Coach, UMAC championships on the horizon yep. tomorrow out in Buffalo. But before we talk about that, take us back through the fall a little bit for your programs. Wow, through the fall. Uh, you know, we had uh, great starts, uh, just bringing in new new athletes, uh, getting them up to speed with what we're doing. And uh, I, I guess I kind of look at the first year for the freshmen as being that type of thing where they're just learning how we do things and how our program operates and, and learning the ins and the outs and, and watch them grow and develop as part of that. And then as I kind of know their weaknesses and strengths, and then we can build on that as a year, as the season goes on, but as well into the next year and beyond. Uh, so our freshmen, you know, they've played a key role in our team. Um, our, on our guy side, we've had our uh, returners in, in Jackson and Will kind of leading the group. And then uh, uh, Kyle Granger stepping in is, is kind of in that 5-6 role for us. Uh, but then we've had three freshmen that are in that 4-5-6, uh, again, kind of position and playing a key role for us. We'll count on them this weekend uh, to kind of step up their game and, and their speed and, and just kind of persevere. More than that, kind of grind it out, grit it out, um, you know, for uh, just position, because that's a big part of, uh, of this meet is, you know, every position you pass somebody, that's a two-point swing for your team, you know, one against them and one for you. So we're kind of counting on that. And, you know, on the ladies' side, uh, you know, it's kind of a, a, a good group, but we're, we're thin and that uh, just some injury bug has kind of uh, laid out a couple of people. So we're, we're not in key, you know, what I would say peak strength, uh, with three of those uh, key players kind of sitting out right now with uh, foot, leg uh, type injuries that are holding them back. And what's your routine look like? You'll get a chance Friday afternoon to go out to Buffalo and, and test the course a little bit, but going into Saturday and the women's race is at noon and the men's race at, at 1 o'clock, what's it look like for you guys um, this afternoon and tomorrow? Well, you know, we, it's nice to have the, the preview. Uh, just kind of go out, jog the course, kind of see the layout. What are the turns? What are the hills like? Uh, you know, the uphills, the downhills. Um, so you're, you're, you don't have any surprises along the way. Um, uh, anytime you can eliminate that by doing a preview, uh, it's good. Uh, the other benefit is it's just uh, less time in the morning spent, you know, you spend more time getting ready to race rather than warming up. Uh, previewing the course type of thing. So by previewing it, it, it eliminates that piece for us. I, I like doing that. I think we race better when we've had a chance to preview in advance. That's not always the case though for us. Some meets are close and we just do it all on the same day. But uh, so that's our purpose there. Kind of, you know, have a fun night together, go out and have a team meal and, and just kind of relax a little bit together and have some fun. And then uh, kind of get to business uh, on Saturday. Uh, still want to have fun. Uh, you don't want to be uptight. You know, it's all business. Sometimes we get uptight. So, uh, trying to keep things loose. We got some key players, um, uh, Krista Bain and uh, Kirsty. Uh, some just key players on our team that kind of keep things loose, goofy singing. You know, camp songs, just goofy stuff that, you know, sometimes you scratch your head around that. And then, but you know, at the same time, you need that uh, on your team. Uh, again, rather than just that kind of grind it out. Um, you know just tough-mindedness you need that but you, you got to have some of that goofy fun stuff going on too well it should be a lot of fun out in buffalo tomorrow best of luck to you and your programs coach hey appreciate it uh we're excited about it it's one of the strongest conference races uh, you know i've been coaching for over 20 years and i think this uh particularly on the men's side is probably the deepest talent top to bottom uh it's going to be a lot of fun seeing uh, how things shake down um, you know, with uh, individual champions and top fives, all conference as well as uh, the uh, you know team champions. Should be exciting. Thanks again for joining yep. us, Coach. Thanks.